How did you get into soccer when you were younger through Santa Rosa United? How how did you get into it? Yeah, so I started out, so Santa Rosa United, their youngest age group is U8. So when I was about six or seven, that's when I started to play club soccer. Um, And um, I remember playing, I think I was six, and I remember playing um, with the U8. So I was playing a year up. So, um, and my coach, her name was Patty Johnson. And so I played a year up with her team for one year and then played U8 again. She was my um, coach again for my second year. But um, I played rec soccer um, since I was three. And then um, when I was old enough to join club, that's when I started. I started right away. Um, uh, describe your like the early your early career at United and at Montgomery. Um, fell in love playing soccer through club. Um, I think that club kind of just sets you up. Um, you know, playing with your best friends and your teammates, and also um going on fun trips and um. ECNL events and just tournaments all around um and then when I got into high school I was also very nervous to play high school soccer because um you're playing with people who are three years older than you and um so freshman year I was really nervous but I was also really excited to play with the older girls and also kind of have like a family and um I love coach Pat Pat McDonald um He's someone who I look up to and I trust so much. And he made my high school experience so much fun. And um, he built a culture that just feels like a family and someone you can like lean on for anything. Um, So I think both club and high school were really fun. And I've also learned so much. And I also have this like family or community. All right. what as you described at Montgomery, you guys dominated. The Vikings were incredible uh, throughout your four years there. Uh, what was your senior season like, and what was it like committing to UCLA? Yeah, um, I was very excited to go into my senior year, um, but also sad, you know, because um, having to leave behind a program that just takes so much pride in um, being a Viking. I think Pat really made the whole experience so fun and also like the girls on the team um I was playing with Cindy Artega who she um she's at CSUN right now and um Abria who was in my class she's playing at SDSU right now in South Dakota like you just have and they are some of my best friends and so I think when you have a group of people who you're really close with it just makes it so much better to play with them on the field and see them every day um and then I think my final season I just wanted to have fun and leave no regrets you know especially going into UCLA it was more time for me to just have fun and leave everything out on the field my senior year um, what was it like playing for the United States U16 national team? I know under UCLA in your bio, it says that was your highlight of your career. So what was it like? Um, amazing. I feel like it's always such a honor to re- to wear the crest and um, to get to represent your country. Um, also, I got to travel to Germany with the national team and Belgium and play all these different countries and um, I also love traveling so that was so much fun to go at a young age with also people who were all around the country from different states and some of them I play some of them are on my team at UCLA now who I went who I went to camp with back in 2016 but um, it's always an honor and I think that's definitely a highlight in my career is just being able to represent my country. Um, what was your feeling heading into this season? Um, I was very excited. Um, 
we got new coaches in the beginning of January. So kind of, so about a year ago, um, we got in our new staff and I think all of us as a team collectively, were very excited and um, ready for this new culture and the staff, our head coaches or my head coach and assistant coaches, staff, the whole team, we all, they all embraced us and all took us in and made really just made a culture that is very indescribable in the best way possible. Um, they changed the whole program in a way where we just feel like a family and, and it's built on trust. And so I was very excited to go into this season and my junior season. So I think I was just ready and I was just excited for uh, Marguerite and full staff. Um, this year was uh, an incredible year for the Bruins. You guys had a lot of nail biter games in the uh, NCAA tournament, uh, but you guys got to the final four, beat Bama, and you head head into this title game. You guys had already beaten North Carolina. What were your thoughts heading into this? Um, so my thoughts were again, it was more of like, let's go. You know, we have one game left it's against North Carolina and we had this kind of joke around going throughout our team, like, you know, like we or not a joke, but it was more of just like we went to North Carolina beginning of our season. And that trip was amazing. You know, we beat Duke, North Carolina. They were not easy games. They were hard. They challenged us and they made us better. And I think for in the final, it was more of like, okay, let's do it again. We got this. Like we were just more pumped and excited. Um, obviously at the end there, you had that nail biter finish. Uh, in this with 16 seconds left, you guys buried that corner kick. What, like, you you saw that? What, what was just like, what I, I can't really describe the question, what was just going through your mind? Like, that is so incredible. The finish, what would you is like, what did you see? Freaking out. Um, last 16 seconds, last play of the game. Um, my our goalkeeper Lauren comes up into the box too and right when Raylan put that goal away we I cried everyone on the sidelines were crying we were just jumping around going crazy um a feeling that won't go away anytime soon and every time I think back to it, I'm always like just have the biggest smile on my face um Final question, uh, this is a question I ask all the people I interview. Do you have any advice for uh, my viewers? So this could be life advice, soccer advice, anything. Just have fun and along the way, just t embrace everything. And um, you're going to meet your best friends along the way. Um, and you always have your teammates to lean on and who support you and who want the best for you um yeah so I think that's it what I would tell younger me or anyone to just have fun and keep doing what you love and embrace it all and just learn and take it in all right thank <laughs> you have a good day sure. thank all you right. so much for having me thank you for coming on thank you Alrighty. Uh, Bye. Thank you. Bye.